Hey there, uh, Bushcraft My Way. This is my video response for your uh, video about what was uh, what was your uh, what was my first um, bushcraft gear. Uh, so I was kind of starting to cleaning my uh, my uh, fire here, and I said, "Hey, you know what? I haven't done this video yet, and I really want to do it." So what I want to show you is, of course, I had a lot of gear during the years, but what I really want to show you is uh, my first neck knife. Now, when I was first familiar with bushcraft, I was doing mostly survival and prepping. I had a lot of big knives. Uh, actually, my first knife was, was at the age of 12, I think, or maybe less, and it was a big big ass Rambo survival knife with that hollow handle and uh, <laughs> and all the cool stuff in it and I know um, that it wouldn't be the perfect choice or even far from it as for survival or bushcraft but this but that knife back then gave me a lot of a lot of pleasure and a lot of good times and uh, it was pretty sturdy and pretty tough for uh, the abuse that I um, that I gave it and as a kid I was just charmed by the fact that I have inside the handle so many cool stuff as fishing hooks and fire and you know this little chainsaw the, the little uh, handsaw um, and of course I started adding stuff into the into the handle uh, like band-aids and uh, sewing needles and stuff so yeah this is it's a great memory for me and uh, it took me a lot of time until I broke that knife <clears throat> and uh, after I did it became a spear because the blade was still okay just the handle broke um, after a while I understood that in order to practice bushcraft <clears throat> I will need a very sharp knife uh, and um, a much smaller blade. I do not have to carry uh, big blades, big survival blades, um, or anything that is over, you know, four inch uh, is just a bit big for bushcraft. Or let's say from three to five inch. So I went ahead and started looking for knives, and there were no quality knives in Israel that I can buy. Uh, most of it was garbage i did not understand too much about knives um so i decided to make my own and i took a I actually wanted a neck knife and uh, of course there was no nowhere to find a neck knife in israel so i went ahead and i and i made my own and this this was my first bushcraft neck knife that i made um i took one of my mom's kitchen knives uh, I tried to reprofile it, which was not such a good uh, job, because you don't need such a such a spear point for bushcraft. <clears throat> um, I sharpened it as best I could. Today it's today it's pretty sharp. Uh, I tried to give it a little choil, which was not. <laughs> which was not uh, that great because uh, I didn't have any grinding tools or stuff I was just working with what I had um, and I did paracord the handle in order to give me a a better grip which is which is pretty nice I have to say it's really nice it's it's nice it's snug it's tight of course today <coughs> it's a bit smaller it's a bit small for my hands but back then it was pretty okay uh, and what I did with the uh, sheath, because it's a kitchen knife, I used uh, this kind of foamish material that sometimes people use for isolation um, or insulation. I don't know what the difference. And I just, um, I just stabbed it all the way through. This is not the same material. I used something uh, very similar. I just stabbed it through very gently all the way. Then I cut to length what I wanted and uh, added a couple of plastic uh, pieces in here 
so my knife would fit inside and it all that I wrapped with uh, with duct tape so I kind of compressed it down so it's nice and snug and then I added a little cord up here this was where my fire steel would be attached and uh, at the bottom I added a little LED light uh, not so long ago uh, of course since then I made my own uh, my own neck knife which is my favorite right now really love it lightweight great knife but <laughs> this one I still cherish and we take it out camping sometime using it as a as a kitchen uh, knife for making salad and uh, that's it you know the beginning and the the knife that I have today so I really hope you like it and keep on giving me those great great videos um, and take care Merry Christmas